Douglas Costa with the fake Rabona, and then he's passing it over to Roberto Firmino who is through and he shoots and scores 2-1. The goalkeeper not even moving after that shot. If you guys need some coins, use the code Jenny on FIFACoinzone.com for 15% off. And if you want to play against others for some real money, sign up on Gamersaloon.com. Both links in the description below. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode, and it is episode number three. And uh, there have been talks in the comments about me talking about Verratti not being a good defender. Boys, the only reason I say that is I'm talking about the game. I'm not talking about real life. In the game, he is just too small and he's not strong enough. So that is the reason why I said that. Hopefully, everyone now understands why I did say that and that is also the reason why Verratti will then in the January transfer window become like uh, the main creative midfielder behind Firmino and Snyder will leave to get a really good defender into the squad maybe William Carvalho who has been in talks with AC Milan as well I think so that would be a good transfer I'm, I'm really thinking about that one right now but we'll see and boys if you want to really support this series smash that like button i would really appreciate getting over 1000 likes that would be amazing and yeah let's see what we can do in this episode we started off with a win and a simulation against sassuolo and then we will play a game with our reserves team and my cookies in the striking position against bologna so we are getting into this game with our reserves team which means that we will have to fight against bologna in a much tougher fashion that we would have to with players like Ibrahimovic in the starting lineup. Obviously, Ibrahimovic just came back from his injury, so we will see what he can do for our team. But we are starting off in the fourth minute with Berardi scoring it, and it is already 1 0. Berardi with his first goal of the season, and that is just great. Just when he was saying, I'm not happy with being on the bench the whole time, and then my cookies. Coming up with the goal, and that one was chocolate flavored. Yes, <laughs> that just makes no sense, but I'll keep it in the commentary. But still, that was a really nice shot from uh, my cookies, but especially the pass from Keita was just amazing. Once again, Keita showing that he's a great player in this team. You guys might have not realized, but Keita was a really good player in the last season and also in this season he has started really well. But talking about players doing well in this team, Diego Lopez, this lad is just not stopping making all these amazing saves. He can just not stop. He just can't stop. I just don't know why, but he's just... No one can get past him. That is something I've realized by now. He's even better than Speroni, let me tell you that. But after the 2-0 lead, our opponents were moving forward. They were trying to score. And as you could see, they did hit the crossbar once. But now in the 81st minute, they had another chance. Actually, they hit it twice. Yeah, they did hit it twice. But uh, now our right back gets fouled, stands up, gets to it again. Aurier with the cross inside and Yang finally scoring again. Yes, yes, I don't, I don't believe it. Like, honestly, he hasn't been able to score one goal in the last episode, even though he had so many opportunities to score one but obviously in this match Diego Lopez was the man of the match he made some really good saves and got our team the clean sheet in the end it is a 3-0 victory which is like uh, the best victory you can get in football in my opinion 3-0 is just perfect Inter right now in the first spot so our rivals are actually above us three points in front of us and we have to play against the fifth place team in the league which is Napoli and if we lose against them they will catch up to us and Inter will move up in the ranking but you can also see that Douglas Costa is somehow the top ranked player in this team I shouldn't say somehow he definitely is deserving a top three spot but I personally would give the first place to Diego Lopez because he has just been outstanding throughout the whole seasons we have played I can only remember him doing like one or two mistakes in three seasons so far especially the last season he was a big part in us being kind of successful in the league and also in the European in the European competitions and maybe also in the cup but right here we started off 
kind of bad against Napoli. You can see Higuain scoring the first goal for them in the 15th minute. And that just definitely showed me, okay, this is a kind of a different caliber than we had to play against in the last match with our reserves team, which was Bologna. And I was playing with my first team in this one. Zlatan was in the striking position. So I was expecting from him to finally just go ahead and score a goal. Zlatan has only scored like one goal in these few episodes. But Douglas Costa, really not a shot from him. Could have been an amazing goal, but he wasn't able to do so. Now Costa on the ball once again, trying to cut inside. He does so, shoots, but that one gets saved from the goalkeeper. Great save on his part, but that shot was also not really perfectly taken. But Diego Lopez talking about saves. Obviously, he will not be missing in that discussion. 61st minute, we are passing it over to the right-hand side. Douglas Costa is through. Zlatan just stopped making the run. So Costa decided to take it on his own. And he shoots and scores. It is 1-1. We have equalized in the 63rd minute. And this guy deserves it. He is now 87 rated. I mean... That's just insane. I was never expecting Douglas Costa to get to that rating. I know that he has like 85 potential or something like that. But 87? That is definitely not normal. And now Niang is in the game. He does have a chance to win it for us. But that was not good enough. A header coming in though. But yeah, that also didn't work out. But we were not giving up. This is another chance. El Shalavi getting onto the ball. But the goalkeeper once again able to get to it. Because that shot was just right into the center. And John Adkin, his long shot. Sadly, this time is not going in as he was able to do so in one of these episodes. Man, John Adkin, I'm still expecting him to score one more amazing long shot. But we are getting that one point against Napoli which is important to keep them away from us because Napoli definitely is one of the strongest teams in the Serie A. Milan right now in the first place in the Champions League group with Copenhagen, Benfica and PSV in our group and our next opponent was Benfica and we definitely had to play a good team but I couldn't play the starting 11 like I norm uh, normally do because our players were tired so I had to play with my reserves and it started off with Diego Lopez making a great save and that was the third minute now moving on plus 10 minutes added to the three minutes that we were in and it is another chance this time they are hitting the crossbar and uh, once again after a deflection after our defender trying to get away that ball but that was just not good enough Benfica hitting the crossbar and the post already and now we are moving forward trying to get a counter attacking Keita now shooting but that one will get saved actually that was a really good save from the goalkeeper now Keita in the second half passing it to Mastor Mastor in the penalty area loses the ball but it lands in front of our midfielder scoring it Jorginho who is actually kind of unhappy because he's not getting a lot of play time but in this match he is the man of the match so far for AC Milan great shot from him the goalkeeper could have done a lot better there I think that one went through his legs Diego Lopez once again man he's making another save now Niang trying his luck against all these defenders yes he's able to get past them and now that was an unnecessary skill and it hits the crossbar so I should have taken the shot directly that was stupid I actually didn't want to do the skill I just wanted to roll it past the goalkeeper but somehow I messed it up and did an unnecessary skill but in the 82nd minute Benfica came back with the goal and that really pissed me off because I was dominating the second half and now I said to myself let's get my cookies into this game and also El Chiravi joining in on the left hand side Firmino joining in for Mastor and I was hoping for one last good attack and Pele now with a great pass over to Berardi on the right he's cutting his side looking for his teammate crossing it in and it is an amazing save from the goalkeeper that should have been the second goal in this match my cookies trying his best on that one but that just didn't work out for him now Jorginho with the pass to Pele but the defense is able to get to it so sadly we were not able to score the second goal in this match. Yes, it's, it will be another draw in this episode. But I'm kind of happy. I will take it because we have not lost the game in this one. 
which is definitely a good thing but of course for AC Milan a team like AC Milan we need to get the W and we are now simming a game against Atalanta it is a 2-0 and that is a win for our team and then it is against Empoli and this one will actually be a 5-0 win Firmino, Jorginho, my cookies and two goals from Keita are getting us the 5-0 win against our opponents who are kind of at the bottom of the league in the 16th spot so I didn't really plan on playing against them same with Atalanta they were in the 17th spot so I simmed those games hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode thank you so much for watching and now enjoy the assistant coaches showcase